Hello everyone, welcome back to the Darkest Dungeon where I am elated to have just beaten the Necromancer with almost not a single sweat. We didn't even come close to death, we didn't stress out, everyone is perfectly fine and in fact I'm thinking why not go back down to this end of the roster and start trying to level up some of these low level people. Whilst we do so, we can get some cash. Viz's only real problem is rabies, which is honestly a real problem with Viz most of the time, but I think we should probably bring Viz and DT and Erasmus and Sir Gyrus here and try and work this out. Now the only problem I'm feeling here is, excuse me, is that the best use of a grave robber in my opinion is the lunge. And the problem with the lunge is that DT and Viz are really only good in the first two positions. Now Dark Trojan can at least do stuff from the third position, but not, honestly, I was going to say not the ones I want, but actually it's fine. Uh, and then Viz is great in the first three positions, so in fact, everything I was about to say is bullshit. So, this is perfect, because you're not going to move except by accident, and you can keep giving us the invinigorating vapors, which is great. And then, it doesn't matter how much Erasmus moves, which is perfect. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give Sir Gyrus a little bit of uh, invigorating vapors love here. And I think we want to unlock Nervous Stab. Um, I've not used any of these before, really. Sometimes we use Fortifying Vapors just to top somebody off who is feeling a bit the worst for wear. Um, ooh. That's also quite nice. It does do a Blight, which is only one point around for three rounds, but it also removes their Blight Resist, which would be great with somebody else who does Blight, which technically Erasmus does. There. But this is so much better. The times we've used Nervous Stab have actually been extremely good. Um, just because it turns out to be great. Also, we should probably upgrade the lunge. And all of it. Screw it. It's cheap. Erasmus, you're cheap. Uh, do we want to finish any of these as a stunned? A bleed? We don't really use this. And I have used this because it's a stun. But the finish him, now you'll note how these sort of un-synergize, they de-synergize with one another. Because if you knock something back too far with this, you might not be able to hit it with this. So you can only hit the first one and then be able to finish him it. But I'm going to unlock it anyway. I'm take that, 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 that. And then we're going to make sure to open up Dark Trojan and turn this off and turn this on. Which doesn't really change your um, usefulness there. Didn't unlock it. Oh, picked to the face though. Where can we use that? All three positions. Might be slightly better than poison darts for the simple reason that poison darts becomes useless as soon as we do the lunge. And, you know, Erasmus is turning out to be a great lunge character. So we'll unlock that. But this has hardly cost us anything compared to the last one. So we'll turn off poison darts because as soon as we lunge, we can't use it. And we do like to start off with a lunge because it's just such a good attack. It could crit and kill something immediately, and it has. Um, let's left click instead of right. Uh, this could be annoyingly expensive because we either want to upgrade everything or nothing, right? Um, what does this do, though? It buffs... It increases the buff you get for changing to beast in the first place. And it slightly more stress heals everybody. And yourself heal, but it doesn't reduce the amount of stress that other people get. That's okay. Just unlock everything. We've got the money and we're going to get some more. We're also going to the ruins and it's going to be a short mission, which is exactly what we want for this party. Um, so, you know, opportunity knocks. We will jump in. We will make sure everyone's got their trinkets out. We will unequip all trinkets. We will sort by character class restriction. Now, we've got a couple of these that we've just not used, simply because we haven't taken Viz on a mission since we got them. And that's mostly because we've wanted to level up Zeki. And we haven't been able to take Zeki and Viz on the same mission because Viz is a horrible abomination and Zeki is a creature of light and purity. Um, therefore, I'm wondering whether we just take these. Less max HP, more damage, more speed, sure. More virtue chance. That's pretty good because James flips out. James is Viz, sorry. Same James, yes. Uh, not going camping, don't care about that. Melee skills is what we're using, so we'll do that. Move resist, move skill chance. 
We are thinking of maybe using the uppercut, but mostly that's for the stun chance, so we should probably take the stun ring rather than the... I don't know if it's a ring. I just can't find anything anymore. There's a stun charm, there we go. Oh, it's stun resist. I always make that mistake, don't I? Might as well prop you up. Well, damage versus human, sure. You're going to be one of our principal damage dealers, and you're going to be the other one. Also, we have some of these, but we only tend to take one of these with us, so... 12 dodge, 12 accuracy ranged skills, which we're not using, and more stress damage is not good enough. More speed and more move resist. If we're going to have speed, it might as well be the one that means we can basically guarantee to lunge immediately. And you usually take books, less stress damage, but less death blow resist. More accuracy if in position 4. That's fine, because when we do want you to do stuff, we want you to actually hit. Uh, below 26 is not enough. We're not going to be healing anybody, which may be terrible, but there you go. Um, more resistances, less chance. That could be actually pretty good for this unit, because if this unit accidentally takes, you know, some, some of that... Uh, any one of those things that we're now resisting better, that would be bad. Because we don't have the opportunity to heal them. So we may have to run away, simply because Sajaris has so little... Ooh. I've just remembered that we didn't go here. I mean, this is going to be expensive. This part is expensive, especially compared to the uh, the the skills upgrade. But it's worth doing because we're expecting to get something back from this. That's another one of these, so we can sell this as well. And the crests, eh, we've got plenty of crests, but we do tend to tend to trade them. Do we want to take eight? I think we take. A full stack. Take another one of those, because you never know. Take eight of these, though. Ah, uh, herbs. Couple of keys, just in case. Honestly, we've not found as many unlockable things in the ruins, because the ruins, you usually expect to find those locked display cabinets, um, which tend to contain heirlooms, I think. But not so much recently. I'd like to be able to de-bleed a few people. Maybe de-blight? Ah, fuck it. Let's uh, make sure we come back with as much money as possible. We'll take some more of these. It might be a good idea to... Oh, i tell you what, we'll take the rest of the food. The reason I'm taking the rest of the food is not in case we can counter a couple of hungers. It's because it's going to be the only way that we can heal people. And we're going to be able to... We're going to be trying to do that between... Um, between fights. So, I mean, speak for yourself. I've said everything that he's saying. Explore 90% of the rooms. We might as well... Oren. Go... Around the outside. Oh, I'm trying not to say go around the outside because then I'm predictably going to start going on about trailer park girls. Oh, hello. Good start. At least we begin, which is basically guaranteed. Uh, that one. Hooray! Perfect. You. Um, we do have a, a blight actually, which is really good. Stress heal and heal. Not that useful. I guess we do damage. We do do quite a lot of damage actually, so we should just apply it. Basically, if we don't kill it, we have a chance to stun it. Uh, which, actually, that and that work well together, so I've actually forgotten about that. That's okay. Uh, guaranteed to kill that one. I think it's better in that situation to actually guarantee kill. Oh, you didn't change around. My mistake. My mistake. No, to guarantee kill the one that you're guaranteed to kill. The, the one with the highest HP is what I'm trying to say in a very roundabout and awkward way. Please, no diseases. Oh, thank you. A stun. That is just bullshit, man. This tiny little thing here. Fuck off. You're having a laugh. With impunity. Yes, that's what we need. Holy water could be useful. Why don't you move back here? And why don't you, for once in my adult life, I'm going to remember to actually change these around. So we're not using that. We are using that. There we go. Tremendous. Let us continue. Hopefully, this will be uh, as lucrative a mission as the previous one, without the necessity to kill a boss. Although, honestly, it was such an easy mission, the boss mission, because, no, the boss was so close, whereas in this one we're guaranteed to have to do all this walking around. Not a fan of not knowing about where the uh, traps are. Oh, use... The Antiquarian. My mistake. Please don't abuse me on the internet. I can't take it. My fragile ego boohoo. 
purpose. That was in error, but we have learned of our error. We are surprised, but Erasmus gets to go first, right? Yes, and this will be a lunge. I'm basically fix everything except for Dark Trojan there, but we can make Sajara step backwards, I think. Oh, it's such a good attack. Nerf. Oh, that's interesting. I did not realize that. When you look at this, uh, I'm pretty sure that said that one. Well, you live and learn. Ah, uh, sure. Fizz, stress the shit out of everybody. That's fine, I don't care. This is not a bleed, but it debuffs them such that they take damage again. Oh, just kill it outright. That'll do too. DT, can you do anything? Mark for death. No. So I will in fact move Sajaris back because DT is probably more useful. A more useful uh, damage dealer, basically, than Sajaris in this situation. Uh, we can finish him on this. Quite likely to kill. Another Actually one. did. That was probably the highest roll as far as I noticed. Graveyard slash dodge? No. So this is why we're going to need the food because every time we take damage... Should have just done that. Hell with it. There's the food we're looking for though. So we feed a little bit... I'm clicking here. Feed a little bit to DT. <laughs> probably enough actually. One more, there you go. Uh, I knew you want to be actually at the front, so we'll remember that. Open this. Uh, we do have two keys. I was going to say we should hold on to a key in case we get a scouting that tells us about secret room. But look, why is this on? I didn't... That happens all the time. It's very annoying. Hopefully we get a scout. Scout tells us about secret room. We get three of those amazing crystals. We come back rich and famous and everyone's... M morale goes way up. Why does you trigger the trap as well? Mind that such missteps are the exception and not the rule. <laughs> Indeed, the exception. Well, exploring seems to be easy enough. We are scouting. No secret room. But at least we know that these places are clear. We could go in there and maybe try and avoid that battle. Then maybe valuable because there is a curio in that direction. No. Right, now this is herbs, right? Yes. I did wrong fucking character again. Keep, keep this one selected. Stop making that mistake. It's a foolish mistake. We brought Sajaris along for a reason. Use him. So we'll go this way, because just because there's no Curio in that direction, we can't use Sajaris correctly at all if there's no opportunity to use Sajaris. Uh, no. Unfortunately, the Curio was not one that contained great jewels, but goodness gracious, there's another one here. We might as well go back to this one. No, oh, okay. <laughs> might just walk backwards. Although we do get uh, a minor antique. I've forgotten about that. What indeed? We're okay. So we might as well just do this. That wasn't worth doing. Although there's a battle there. The battle will drop stuff. Don't forget that. It may be worth doing battles just because the battles will have loot as a result of them. Even if they're spiders. Surprise spiders. With weird, huge front leg things. Uh, let's lunge upon... They're all 7 HP and we're guaranteed to kill them all, so we might as well do... This one's a stud and a mark, but this one is... Uh, all blight. None of them has a... Uh, what am I thinking of? Disease causing attack. So. Oh, you dodged it, did you? I mean, I saw that you dodged it. That's what you get for dodging, huh? I love the muteness of a. of a bounty hunter who has successfully stunned somebody. Uh, crit somebody. It's like, yep. Yeah, nothing to say about that. Resisted everything that's worth talking about. And there we go. We didn't dodge that one. A Blightstone again, which we can sell. Unfortunately, our second key does not look like it's going to have much use. Which is odd. Another scout. Okie dokie. We'll, um, we'll explore for our own benefit, I think, as well as the benefit of the mission. 
glittering gold, trinkets okay. and well, baubles. Why don't you eat a bit? Paid for in blood. Take that. Uh, I mean, I don't really care to drop anything, but bandage, herbs, herbs. We've got plenty of food now. I think that's more than enough to finish the game. But the not the game. Oh, perfect. Uh, the mission. Even with the ba the damage that we're going to be taking as a result of battles, we can pretty much leave any time. I think as a result of doing this room. And if not, there's one room left, and it's of no consequence. Erasmus, you're in the wrong fucking place, mate. I've done it again. What a fucking dumbass. Um. Okay. In that case, we do this. It's a shame we can't kill that one immediately, which is basically what I would like to do. Let's do this. Bile is great because, of course, these things have no bleed ability. Like, they cannot be bled at all. Three damage around is reasonable. This does damage versus stunned, but we can't hit that one. You're fucking joking me. Right? Good enough. I mean, it's dead, right? That's basically good enough. Nothing can hit that except for his lunge as well. So. There's a reason we brought this unit and it's not to do damage. It's to bring money and just keep performing that buff. Dodge. Nope. Plus five is not actually all the dodge in the world. Unfortunately, stun comes off. We did get a bit of uh, stress from that, which I was hoping to avoid, but at least we can hit it now. Not for a lot, though. It's fine. It's a stun as well, so it's dead to all intents and purposes. Yeah, keep doing that. And then this, hopefully, is going to be the last round for these two, and then that one will take as long as it takes. That's a really good dodge. Extremely uh, pleased to have been on the receiving end of that. I guess it doesn't matter. Let's kill that. Make sure it doesn't get to do its stupid attack. That wasn't what I meant to do, but it's what I did do, and it works fine. Can't lunge from there. You have to be there. Mm -hmm. Understood. We will take note. Right. Uh, you can't do any more damage to it because you can't use the stunny attack against that. You have 25% stun resist. Wow. Aren't you great? Uh, we can't throw and dagger it, but we can pick to the face it. Ta-da! Fucking love that attack. First of all, let's just point this out. It's called pick to the face. I mean, it's written right there on the tin. Pick to the face. That's what happens. Take a pick. Apply it to face. Let's just check the um, scout here. Okay, so there's no secret rooms, which is a shame. There's also no chests, which is also a shame. There's also only one obstacle, so what I'm going to do is get rid of my shovels to take this. Now we can continue adventuring until we run out of torches or run out of whatever we really care about. This might cure your stress. Oh, it's a buff. And it doesn't contain anything, which is a shame. Uh, we'll go back to this room, see what these two curios are. We've only got two torches, but... We've visited this corridor, so the torch is not as important. And then we might just um, do this battle and then leave. We know there's no traps or anything, so we can be okay with the darkness for now. In fact, there's a torch right there, so. Wealth beyond measure. Don't care about that. Awarded it. to the brave and the foolhardy alike. Uh, yeah, take it. Why so that we get the, is only the first test. antique. Now it must be carried home. Then we'll fight this battle, because we're all perfectly healthy, there's nothing wrong with us. It's extremely unlikely to be such a horrible fight that we die completely, but then just watch this be a collector. <gasps> it's not. Okay, good. I hope I um, successfully drew the tension up to unmanageable levels. Look, <laughs> I've done it again. What did I say? Resisted the stun. That's okay, it was worth a try. I'm going to hit this. If this uh, stuns it... Which it fucking didn't. I was going to say DT can finish it off, but... Honestly, I think we can finish him off anyway. Yeah. Don't matter. Eradicated! Uh, invigorate everybody. I'm 
I seem to find that it's often the right thing to do to attack this unit last. Unless you can't avoid the damage. Like, if it's the only thing you can hit, um, then hit it, by all means. But I don't really think it's that important. Let's transform. Everyone gets a bit of stress, but whatever. And then we can just uh, rage this. I think it just does a shitload of damage. Or a bit of damage. Protection? No. Mark it then. Mark it and hit it hard next turn. That's going to be the way. I was hoping that Erasmus would get that go. Oh, everyone dodged. It's fine. Oh, you can't reach that from there. Throw a dagger at it then. Perfect. Annihilated. 12 HP, 12 damage. More dodges. I mean, this dodge thingy is... It's kind of like the occasional heal, because anything you don't get hit by, you have essentially healed for, right? Makes sense if you think about it. 20 damage there, and then one for the rage. Perfect. So that gets us a bunch more goodies. We might as well get rid of this torch, take the emerald, and then go home. What a really good run that turned out to be. 3,000 gold for doing it in the first place. The crests are not too important. But, man, there's got to be somewhere I can click. Other people manage it. Don't know. But we did pick up a plenty more. A uh, plenty, plenty more. Just in the dungeon. That's really good. Nobody got anything objectionable, but also nobody got anything beneficial. Blank slate. That's fine. I'm happy the with that. Poor caretaker. I fear his long-standing duties here have affected him. I like to let Wayne speak. Just a bit of respectful silence for the voice acting uh, prodigy that he is. Sajaris is now Adventurer Antiquarian level 2, which is great. We don't really have any level 0 or... Like, we've got two level 1s and they're nearly out of that as well. So that was a really good run. We've got now 18,000 again, which is what we went with, but we've upgraded everybody. So we, this tribe here paid for itself. Um, I'm wondering if, if we can do that again. There is a short apprentice here as well. Um, and we can also... Sell... Probably this, on account of how we got two of them. Yes. But we also just won something else that we got two of, which is this. We've also got two of these, so... Uh, maybe one day in the future we'll do two Plague Doctor runs, but I doubt it. We don't use these at all, so we might as well get rid of one of them, as well as this. As well as this. In fact, I don't use... Uh, we may come across future runs where they turn out to be extremely useful. So, probably don't prematurely sell everything, just in case there are things that we haven't learned about yet that they will be good against and then we'll go, oh shit I used it. Uh, I did mention maybe we'll do a double Hellion run one day, that is still on the cards um, we have Tim at level 5 and Doug at level 4, but Doug's going to probably go out and help us with the boss so it'll be Doug and Tim at level 5, which will be quite entertaining I'm sure, even if they both die which is not unlikely, well that'll do it for this episode, another reasonably short one, um but I'm quite happy to do reasonably short ones now, as long as they are that lucrative, because now we've probably got more money than we have ever had before. But thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.